Well, we've got a really crazy new rumor about Marvel Studios' Spider-Man 4 and the return of a villain that we thought had left this universe forever. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about Adrian Toomes' The Vulture. Before we do that, though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for the truth and what's really going on in the superhero world. Well, way back in Spider-Man Homecoming, Peter Parker faced off with Adrian Toomes, a.k.a. the Vulture. Now, this particular version had a pretty big grudge against Iron Man, and throughout the series, he figured out Spidey's secret identity and pushed Spider-Man to his limits before he was ultimately defeated and sent to Riker's Island. Now, we've always been teased with the character's return, and when he showed up in the Morbius universe, well, quite honestly, we thought he would live on in the Sony world and we would never see him again facing off with our Peter Parker. But now, we have a little bit of an update on that. Now, this report doesn't come from Marvel Studios or Kevin Feige, so we want to take it with a grain of salt. But it does come via Daniel Rickman, and although he is a scooper, he doesn't hide behind anonymity, and he stands by his stories and even will correct himself when he's wrong. Now, according to him, Michael Keaton's version of the Vulture is being lined up to return in Spider-Man 4. Now, the last time we saw him in Spider-Man's universe, he was in jail was actually having a fairly interesting conversation with Matt Gargan, a.k.a. the Scorpion. Now, this version of the Vulture knew Spider-Man's secret identity, but we know Doctor Strange's spell made everybody forget Peter exists, so I'm pretty sure this version of the Vulture, if he does return to the MCU, will be seeking out Spider-Man and not his alter ego. The real question for me here is whether the Vulture will be the main villain or a supporting villain. We've been hearing a lot of rumors about the Kingpin being the focus of this movie, and the Kingpin often will employ some of Spider-Man's villains, including the Vulture and the Scorpion. And since we saw those two guys together last, well, they would make for the perfect team-up. Now, this is curious because it does seem to leave Sony out on a limb. The last time we saw the character was in Morbius, and many of us were expecting him to live on in Sony's Spider-Verse. But it seems like if this is true, well, Marvel is going to retcon that, and Sony probably won't be able to move forward with the character. Now, this does align with some of the news we are getting because we have heard post-Secret Wars, much of the Sony universe will be folded into the MCU. And if the character doesn't have any appearances between now and then, it really doesn't matter where he lands. I actually think the future of the Spider Multiverse will become much clearer after Madam Web. We know Kevin Feige had some input on that project, and it could very well be used as the catalyst to incorporate Sony's characters into Marvel's world after Secret Wars. Whether this includes the Vulture or other characters like Venom or Kraven the Hunter, well, we're going to have to wait and see.